I like to think I'm a pretty good TF2 player. And that may sound like a weird thing for me to say, but let me explain why. Think about the people that play TF2. We have this very large number of hardcore competitive players, like we're a lot of people, there's no doubt about that. But the great majority of people just play the game casually, you know? Like, maybe they try, you know, they get into a public game and they do their best as demo man and scout and they get like two frags for each death or maybe they manage to pop over like thrice in that game and they're like, yeah, I'm so good at the game. But they never really actually try to improve or anything. They play the game every once in a while just to have fun, and I'm not one to go like, oh, goddamn casuals, ruining my competitive experience. You know, you play the game however you enjoy it, that's your choice. But, you know, as someone who plays the game hoping to learn new things and improve, I think I've made some pretty significant strides towards becoming a better player. I would obviously not go as far as saying, like, I'm one of the best heavy players in North America, because that's far from the truth, everyone knows that. But um, if we take into account everyone who plays the game like once a week or maybe played it casually for a while and then dropped it after a few dozen hours, I'd say that I'm maybe like top 15% of TF2 players globally. I can go into a pub and if I try and I get a decent team I will usually do pretty well. There are still some players out there who can completely just stomp me and dominate me, but I'm running into those less and less frequently now, which I think is a good sign. Now sometimes when playing with friends, the kind of people that don't play this game very often only because they want to play with me, I'll get a bit cocky, a bit disrespectful because I, I feel like I've earned that, you know? Like, I put a lot of time, a lot of effort into becoming better at this game and I feel like I've earned myself at least a little bit of bragging rights. Just a little bit. But whenever I feel I'm getting a bit too high on myself, I like to go back to where it all began. To the dark land of public lobbies and remind myself of a very important lesson. I suck at TF2. This is a concept that both marvels and terrifies me at the same time. Because to the casual spectator, I am a super hardcore TF2 player. I mean, I've put well over 500 hours into the game, and it's free, but I spent a lot of money on clothes and shiny weapons for my characters that have no effect on my gameplay whatsoever. I can only imagine that to the average player I must seem like I'm obsessed with this game. But when it comes to the competitive community I'm still at the bottom of the food chain. <laughs> like there are people who have played well over a thousand hours and they're considered average. Does anyone else realize how crazy that is? Now I'm not trying to insult hardcore players or anything of the sorts. You guys know me, I love the game, I'm probably gonna play it well over a thousand hours myself. But I do feel like it's important to be humbled from time to time, to be reminded that you're not the best there is, and the best there is is probably nowhere near their top potential. TF2 is just such a massive game, and so many tiny variables go into every match you play. I don't think it's possible to really reach a skill ceiling when it comes to this game. No matter what class or what format you play, you're always going to find something that you could have done better, something that you could have optimized. And I feel like that's something incredibly important for every competitive player to keep in mind. Yes, you're doing well, but you could be doing better. I personally have a long way to go, but I'm, I'm getting there. Or so I hope. <sighs> Thanks a lot for listening, everyone. Have fun, take care, and I'll talk to you soon.